Well, hello everyone and welcome to another episode here on the M.I. Gardener channel. I know you are going to love this one, so stay tuned. In this episode, we're going to be going through a game-changing discovery that I made when it comes to tying up your tomatoes if you're using stakes like these. Now, these are 1x2 furring strips, but you can do 2x2 uh, two two furring strips, or uh, they even make 1x1 one one posts. Um, if you're using any type of single stake with a single stem, this method will rock your world. Now I'm telling you what, I've used so many different methods for tying up my tomatoes. Uh, I've used green stretchy tie-up tape, that still works and I really do love it. But the, bit, the, the biggest discovery that I made was when I was kind of just uh, searching, I, I just sometimes search the web for things and, and uh, I, I tend to, I like to get innovative and I like to take something that uh, works great and make it work even better. Um, if it's possible, and I definitely did that with the use of nylon rope. Now, nylon rope, uh, this is this is used uh, in when it comes to uh, clothing. So, if you have if you have like a shirt um, that has like like a nylon uh, nylon band for like the the neck or the sleeves, but most commonly it's seen in pants. So, uh, we're on the waistlines. Um, uh, just uh, regular elastic pants will have this elastic band and you can get it on Amazon I'll post a link no no kidding you can get a hundred and ten yards I, I believe it's a hundred and ten yards so like 330 feet of this stuff for like eight bucks it is the cheapest, most incredible uh, method for tying up your t uh, for tying up your tomatoes. Um, I'm going to show you how it works, and uh, we've been using it now uh, for three tie up, uh, three different tie up uh, segments, and it has held up no problem to the UV rays. It has held up to the heat. It's held up to rain, and it just is amazing. So I'm going to run through exactly why it is so incredible. The first thing is it is stretchable. Having something that is stretchable is so key because your plant grows. Your plant needs to be able to stretch. You know, just like uh, you know, just <laughs> just like you go to put on a pair of pants. You know, you want that pair of pants to kind of stretch and form. Um, so when it comes to going around your plants, it's really important to stretch. Otherwise, it's going to choke them off. So you uh, so you need something that's stretchable. Another thing that makes this so incredible is the fact that it comes in a roll, meaning you can cut as much as you want. And another thing that makes this thing so amazing is the fact that it ties so easily. I can, I mean, I can do all of these plants, 24 tomato plants, in just under about 10 minutes. Now, that takes some time initially to set everything up, but you saw that video, hopefully, where we're single stemming our tomatoes and we're, we're uh, basically putting them on this trellis, then tying them up is just a simple, simple step. And then once you uh, once you do it once and you get the hang of it, it is a breeze. And I'm telling you, this makes this makes gardening such a joy. I absolutely love this method. So go on and check this out. You're gonna freak. So the manufacturer of this is Cloud City. It is a one eighth inch elastic band. And what we've done is we've gone and single stemmed our tomato. So you can see here, this is a a, a, a single stem going all the way up. And what you want to do is get it close to the post like that, roll out about seven, eight inches, maybe a tiny bit more than that. Uh, about seven, eight inches is just about perfect. Cut you off some, some of your string there. So you got a seven, eight inch piece. There you go, see? Seven, eight inches. And it stretches much further. So you start with seven, eight inches unstretched. And then simply wrap it around the plant and I like to double knot it, sometimes even triple knot it. There you go. So now the nice thing is, look at this, check this out. It's got, there you go, get that leaf out of the way. So it's got, it's got stretch which is huge. If, it, if the wind blows, it's going to move with the wind and sway with the wind, so it's not going to crimp it or pinch it. And as the stem grows, it will grow as well. So this is the best method for tying up your tomatoes. I can guarantee you this is just so easy, so simple. Like I said, it is held up down here. We have 
uh, down here we have tied it up already. This is held up now for three weeks and down lower, this is held up for about three and a half weeks. So nothing has uh, started to fade or crack or anything like that and it's still holding strong. So this is a wonderful way to tie up your tomatoes inexpensively. Like I said, 330 feet, 110 yards for just around eight bucks. And that is a steal of a deal. Um, I mean, you're just, you're just going to, you're going to use uh, such little amount that you can use one roll and be, be completely fine. So um, this is an incredible discovery and hopefully you all try this. All right, so I wanted to do a quick timed test to show you just how easy this is. I've got a tomato plant here, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 seconds. 21 seconds to get this tomato tied up. I absolutely love this method, and I'm telling you what, it does not get much more simple than this. So give it a shot, highly recommend it, and uh, man, share this with your friends, folks. Gardening should not be difficult. Gardening should be easy, and it should be fun, and this, Saul's both those. So there you go, there is the groundbreaking discovery for my new favorite method on how to tie up tomatoes. Uh, now sure you can use the, you know, you can use old pantyhose, cut them up into strips, that works great, I'm totally not denying that. You can also use uh, the green stretchy tie up tape, totally not uh, saying that that's a bad option. Um, it, it's a great option if you have it on hand, but if you're looking for something new and you want to make your life so much easier, uh, you know, it is just, it's a joy, what can I say? It is a joy to use this in the garden and uh, definitely not its intended purpose, but you know what? With your help, by sharing this video, letting your friends know about it, um, clicking that like button, maybe we can make this the new, uh, you know, the new method of choice for those growing with staking for their tomatoes. Uh, and I just, I am, I'm so over the moon about it. I have just been raving about this and uh, rightfully so. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully you learned something new. Please do click that like button. Please subscribe if you're not already and share this video with a friend. We'll catch you all later. This is Luke from the MI Gardener channel reminding you to grow big or go home. Don't overcomplicate gardening. I'll catch you all later. See ya, bye.